These teams are prepared for an epic series. Two of the West's very best clashing in game one of the conference semis. This is Brian Anderson, joined courtside by Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. Our reporter tonight, Ali LaForce. So the opening lineup for the Timberwolves. McDaniels and Towns and at the forward slots. Conley at the guard with Edwards next to him. And it's Gobert in at the center position. And for the Nuggets, on the perimeter, KCP and Porter Jr. Gordon and Jokic the combo inside. And it's Murray in at the point. So the Timberwolves win the tip. Pass to Gobert. Outside McDaniels. And here's Edwards. Towns for three. The rebound by Murray. Gordon, the pass to Jokic. And here's Caldwell Pope, guarded by Edwards. Murray, shot is good. Look at how instant Murray's shooting can be. Gets the pass, plants the feet, and drills it. Outside McDaniels. Gordon against town. And down it goes. Two points. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. And that was good. Confidence oozing out of Caldwell Pope. Loves going to his floater from time to time, too. Here's Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. He could have walked to the basket. And so Murray will bring it up for the Nuggets. time by Murray. He's got a lot more moves than you think and ball skills that are deceptively good. Oh, a great look there. Brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Can. Conley with the ball. And Jokic picks him up defensively. And that one's good from Conley. Nice move to set up the jumper. <laughs> that was pretty. Oh, it's stolen by Towns. Edwards for three. That's in. Coming off an assist from Towns. Edwards got his second basket of the night. Boy, they're on fire right now, cooking with gas, starting this one out four or five. Two minutes. The shot is good by Gordon. Gordon is one of those guys who loves physical contact. Really skilled at finishing over difficult people. Here's Edwards. And again, it's Minnesota converting. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Here's Towns. And Towns slams it home. Towns with the creativity and explosive. Pass to Gordon. On the wing, Caldwell Pope. Back to Porter. And the Nuggets hit again from deep. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Conley against Murray. And he banks in the layup. Now this is just too easy for Conley. The D can't allow him to get this close to the basket. Now a timeout called by Denver. Brown's checked in for the Nuggets. Jackson comes in for Caldwell Pope. And let's take a look at who's been lights out from beyond the arc in this year's playoffs. Third is Carl Anthony Towns. And, of course, Michael Porter. These guys have delivered from beyond the arc in a big way here in the postseason. Stepping up and embracing the spotlight. Conley against Murray. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Defensive foul. Rudy Gobert. That's his first personal foul. To get where you want to go as a team, you need big game play. There's no way around it. And historically, Murray tends to play his best on the biggest stage. Now here's McDaniels. No points yet. Fader on the way. They get the rebound. Oh, and Gobert powers it home. And their offensive rebounding is such a strength for them when he's on the floor. Yeah, he really helps them extend possessions, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Edwards looking for an opening. And there's the call on Reggie Jackson. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Timberwolves substitution. Nas Green. 
15 seconds left in the first quarter. Edwards. It's hauled in by Nikola Jokic. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought that was definitely automatic. Here's Jackson. One second left. Oh, and the buzzer beater is good. Makes his selection just in time. Well, Continuing our coverage of the Western Conference semifinals. Glad to have you back. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Nuggets. You know, so far in this one, these guys have been knocking it down from distance. You've got to like their confidence as this game continues. They're on a nice roll. You know, another thing that has impressed me has been their numbers of points in the paint. Just dominating down there. They're just getting whatever shot they want in close. On the court for the Timberwolves. Second quarter underway. Edwards at the two with McDaniels at the three. Nas Reed out there with Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Conley in at the one. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Here's Edwards. And Edwards slams it in. And Cat remains an excellent passer at his position. Outstanding at seeing the floor and finding teammates. Here's Gordon. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Gordon's got his second basket. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in the tackle. Yeah, we've seen Conley do this Denver forever. Also. Running the point with precision. And the Nuggets call time here. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. I think Caldwell Pope has done a nice job developing into a legit deep ball threat. And the basket by Towns. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Murray against Conley. Remaining in the first Murray passes to Caldwell Pope. Down low. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. Murray's got four assists now tonight. Look at Caldwell Pope battling inside. Boy, he fights through that contact. Alexander <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. If you give him any sort of space, he's going to attack. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. Trying so hard to contest that shot. Got a piece of Gobert there. First one falls for him. Laughlin, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. And so Gobert nails both of them. Here in quarter two, we played a little over two and a half minutes now. Pass to Jokic. No stopping Jokic in the paint. Well, one of the very best big men in handling the ball. Jokic's moves and creativity really set him apart as a big guy. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. Here's Porter. And then Porter with the dunk. Hey, hey, get this guy in the dunk contest. Porter Jr. capable of some nasty throwdown. For Minnesota, they've gone four for six here in the second. Downs passes to McLaughlin. Here's Alexander Walker. He's covered by Caldwell Pope. That one drops for him. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. And it's Murray with the ball for Denver. Six-point game. Jokic finds Murray. Outside, Caldwell Pope. Murray's shot is good. Murray's got 12. Their offense is really humming right now, and it's because of the beautiful ball distribution. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive, and it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Porter gets the bucket. And that's Porter Jr. He goes nice follow-through on his shot, even through the contact. Edwards for three. Towns. And so it's Denver, ending the quarter up 10. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. You've enjoyed the first half. I'm looking at Denver.
they put themselves in decent shape to grab that all-important Game 1 victory. So far, they've clearly been the better team controlling the flow. By no means is it a runaway, but they've put themselves in a great position. Shaq, let's get your take on Denver. Well, what I like, the ball never stopped moving, nor did the players. Everyone wants to be in Love to watch this brand of basketball. We've got a whole other half of them. So excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Kenny, let's get your input on the Timberwolves. Kenny G one. Really an incredible game from Jamal Murray. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Gordon and Jokic, the combo inside. On the perimeter, KCP and Porter Jr. And it's Murray in at the point guard position. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And here are the Nuggets now. Here's Jokic. Oh, that's too easy for Jokic when he gets inside position. I know Jokic would perhaps rather find penetration, but he can hit these mid-range looks as well. Edwards against Caldwell Pope from deep. Conley sends it home from three-point land. Three points. Conley's got seven. Doesn't need a lot of room to get off his shot. That was money. Pass to Porter. Releases. They grab their own miss. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Gordon's got his third basket of the night. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. As a result, they've got a big lead. And he's going for the oop here. And Gordon with the big finish. Gordon taking advantage of the fact that when he gets up in the air like that, nobody's interested in getting in his way. Time called here. The Timberwolves decide to talk it over. Anderson's checked in for Carl Anthony Towns. The top scorers in the playoffs on our 2K leaderboard really carried them at that end. Gordon's gone 4-5 or five from the floor. Just the one miss. Here's Edwards. That one's good. And it's Conley who picks up the assist. He's got 11. Three straight buckets to start the half. This is how they wanted to come out and execute. Murray passes to Caldwell Pope. On the money from 12 feet away. Nice start to the second half. Just one miss in their first five attempts. The Timberwolves have gone three of three in the second half. Two minutes Outside one. Edwards. Fires it from 18. And good as it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Flashing pretty advanced shot creation skills. I see many good defense, better offense moments in the future of Anthony Edwards. And that one drops. Caldwell Pope's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Here's Edwards. And he converts the layup. Yeah, you know, once Edwards flips that switch, now he stays fully engaged. His offensive arsenal is on full display. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. For the Nuggets, Naji comes in for Nikola Jokic, and Brown subbed in for Porter Jr. And for your Nuggets, Contavious Caldwell Pope. One shot. You know, I still think Caldwell Pope does not get enough credit for everything that he provides. Suffocating D, efficient offense, excellent energy. And this dude is a real valuable piece. It's Edwards on the wing. And the Timberwolves hit again from deep. One this half, two for the game. Staying active from beyond the arc. Murray with it. And it's Gobert picking him up. You know, I really like seeing this from Murray. Looking to get his open teammates involved. Being a willing passer is impressive to his teammates. Outside, Anderson. Gobert inside. Working on Nachi. And he hits it and gets hacked. A three-point chance here if he can convert. They just aren't attacking from the perimeter like they did in that first half. And I think that's part of the problem right now. The Nuggets making a switch here. Jackson is checked in. Known as the Stifle Tower. Gobert's defense and rebounding are valuable to this team. With some arc, count that one. Jackson's got five. Pick 
works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Morris for three, and the three-pointer goes. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. Oh, there's the alley. Up high, and down it goes on the lob. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a 10-point pass. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely sleek. And so it's the Denver Nuggets closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. Full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. Fourth quarter action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. And a look now at the five for the Timberwolves to start the fourth quarter. Nikhil Alexander-Walker out there with Monte Morris. Then there's Kyle Anderson. Then it's Carl Anthony Towns. And it's Reed in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Inside, Jokic, cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. And the Nuggets lead by seven. Jackson against Morris. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for Denver. Well, you know, they've been tremendous, I think, when it comes to sharing the basketball. You know, getting guys involved on the plays and creating offensive opportunities for everybody. Equal opportunity offense is fun to watch. Yeah, another thing they did well was feed the ball into the paint. They really utilized their size there tonight. Here's Strother. The rebound by the Timberwolves. Left side, Anderson. And, yep, it's good. Anderson's got four points in the quarter. Well, I love the court awareness there. Towns zipping the ball over to his teammates. A willing pass. And then Porter with the dunk. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Hey, defense is taking a back burner. Secondary on the marquee. But who doesn't love a game like this? Let's go. I like offense. Watch out now. Look out below. Edwards rising to the raft. There's the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, capturing the moment. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. He makes the D look silly. <laughs> what an incredible move. Man, how about that finish right there? Not too bad. I'll tell you what, safe to say that was a good-looking play from start to finish. Shot right is good now. by Edwards. Edwards just doesn't allow defenders to bottle him up. Great focus and persistence. Yeah, I'm called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Caldwell Pope's checked in for the Nuggets. McDaniels is checked in for the Timberwolves. Mike Conley comes in for McLaughlin. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. I was able to listen in on what Denver's coach was going over with his team. He seemed pleased with his team's performance, saying, quote, we're on track. We're doing everything right. Keep it tight out there. And let's take back the lead in this series. Back to you. Thanks for that, Allie. A slam dunk by Reed. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Jackson, pass to Jokic. Blocked! And he gets it back. Throw it down, Nikola! Easy to understand why they turn to Jokic in these situations. He has a knack for cashing in on big possession. And Minnesota calls time here. They're locating quality shots whenever he got his hands on the ball. Gordon, he's checked in for Watson. Conley passes to Edwards. And the shot goes. Edwards got 15 points in just the second half. At every level, Edwards has been the go-to guy for his team. It's in his DNA. And Jokic throws it down. Well, Jokic always in sync with his teammates, which is part of why he's able to put together these highlight reel sequences. The shot is good by Edwards. You expect he's going to find a way to pull through in the clutch. Jackson surveying the D. And it's out of bounds. Still Denver's ball. He clipped the ball there, but not enough to nab the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. 56 seconds left in the game. And Jade McDaniels picks up the foul. 
That's his first foul. 54 seconds left in the final quarter. On the wing quarter. They get it again. Great positioning on the putback. And the Nuggets lead by four. How about the big time clutch basket from Yoko? No backup in him, despite the major pressure. Shot is good by Edwards. Talk about stepping up in a big way. Well, that was one, too. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. To the wing on the left. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Defensive foul. Never. The free throw drops for Jokic. The Antoine puts a little extra insurance on their lead. What a good play. And Minnesota calls time here. They trail by five. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Your different nuggets dance there. 24 seconds left in the fourth. From deep, Conley. And he sinks it. And he's brought them within two points now. Let's look at what Conley is doing. So it's Denver now. They held a 12-point lead earlier, and an intentional foul there stops the clock. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. No, he got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down the free throws here. Foul right away. First free throw is good. And that makes it a three-point lead. And it's easy to see why Jackson is on the floor in tight games. These guys trust him to hit big shots. Showing great confidence from the line. That makes this a two-possession game. Reed passes to Conley. Oh, he nails it! Oh, what a sensational bucket! That brings it within one! And they're going to prolong the game with an intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. 14 foul. At the line for two, Reggie Jackson. He drops the first one, and that'll put him up two. And Jackson's speed and basketball IQ really stand out. An experienced veteran with a versatile skill set. What composure at the line. Forcing your opponent to look for the three-pointer now. Captain Clutch. One of Conley's many monikers. Appropriate here. Just wow. That's his second personal foul. 15. At the line for Denver. Reggie Jackson. Two shots. Good on the first, and that'll put him up two. And the second free throw, no good. Tough break there. So a close game sees Denver taking this one. And it always takes a lot of pressure off the team when they get the win.